Well, welcome back to The Couch here on Aurora Television. The next guest that I've got is a very interesting one. I've got to say her name properly because it's Jean Wybrow. See, I think I got it right. Now, uh, let me read a little bit about Jean. Jean is Yana's sister-in-law. And while Yana was sketching the women, it was Jean's job to keep them chatting, which enabled the artist to capture their personality. Jean has been by Yana's side throughout the whole project. Now, we're talking about Yana. Jean, welcome to the couch. Thank you. Tell me about Yana, because a lot of people don't know a lot about her, I'm assuming, because I didn't know a lot about her. Tell us a little bit about well, your sister-in-law. Yana is an artist. She came to Australia in 1981 after um, escaping from communist Czech. Mm -hmm. And um, she did lot, she'd always painted and she did a lot of extra art things when she came here. here she did ceramics, jewelry making, etc., etc. She, was also, she is also an interior designer and she used to paint tromploys for ceilings and that. Now we're talking about um, Jana. Let me yes. pronounce the name here. You'll probably know it better than me, but is it Vodicel? It is, Jana Vodicel, yes. Beautiful. Now she's yes. an amazing artist. Now she she's is. got a fantastic exhibition. It's called the Permanent Impressions Art Exhibition. Now it runs here in Perth until the 28th of July, which is a couple of more days this week. And if you're watching it on the net, it's throughout the whole week. Please go out and support it. Tell me about the exhibition. Why did she decide to, to paint 50 fantastic women? It's, it's a celebration of 50 West Australian contemporary women who have contributed significantly to the West Australian society. It started when she saw um, a book of 100 sketches from a New Zealand artist, John Badcock, back in 2011. Mm -hmm. And she was impressed by this 100 passing faces, as he called it. And um, she thought, I'm going to go home and practice my portraits because she's always done portraits. She came home, she started doing some portraits of friends um, and relatives and her husband said to her, why don't you make this into a project? Why don't you do something significant? And she had wanted to do something for society because she's, in her mind, she's had such a good time in coming to Australia. Australia's really looked after her. So um, she said, let's do 50 significant West Australian women. Let's go find them. So we came up with an idea of let's look at all the different categories. We'd look at the arts, education, health, etc. Then didn't know where to go. At that particular time, it was a 100-year celebration of International Women's Day in 2000, March 2011. So um, one of the artists said to her, why don't you look at these women? So that's what we did. We so went along to the opening. So that's women. how we selected the 50 women? Yes. Now, we haven't got time to go through all the 50 women, but I'm mm -hmm. going to hold some up and you can just tell me who they are because I know some of the people because they've got the names on the back, but not all of them. <laughs> Tell us quickly who these people are. This is Penny Flett. She's and a health pioneer. She um, works at Bright Water. Beautiful. running bright water. Okay. Fiona Wood, I'm sure everybody would know Fiona, the plastic She's surgeon, amazing burn woman. specialist. Yes, a wonderful, wonderful okay. lady. That one there? This is Corinne Everett. She's an environmentalist and uh, she is working with the K-Tone strategy, um, trying to keep the cane toads out of Western Australia. And this one here. And Lisa Scafetti is our now Lord, Lord Mayor. Lord Mayor, of yes, course, here yes. in Perth. Now this lady here, I think she's an amazing woman. Tell me about Fiona Stanley. We've got a hospital named after her, we but she's have, also famous yes. for other things. Yes, she's an epidemiologist. She set up the um, internet, the Health Research Institute. Um, lots of research. She came up with things like um, women should take fo folic acid, for instance, when they're pregnant, because that then prevents them from um, uh, sick. Paul, uh, not palsy, but the um, neuro tubal diseases, etc., spina bifida and things like this, yeah. Now, this lady here, I remember her because she was our first female Premier here That's in the right. state, Dr Carmen Lawrence. Amazing woman. The photos, tell me what, I've got a question here because Heather wrote me some questions here. What, what's the process that Yana went through uh, to complete each of these portraits? Okay, well, we go and visit the lady. There's a 45-minute sitting. In that time, Yana does this quick sketch. She doesn't like to talk too much because she's, she's actually... Um, concentrating on her sketching. She ta takes photographs to refer to later and the lady and I chat and the chatting is all about Yana understanding this woman and getting to know her personality because that's what she likes to do on in her portraits is really show her the personality of the lady. Fantastic. Yes. Now I know uh, we've only got a short time but tell me about this fantastic book please. Mm -hmm. This book um, is a, it's got a all the portraits. It has in all it. the portraits in it and the story of the ladies. All of these women are very inspirational. Um, we believe that they are great mentors for young women you, coming there along, you young leaders coming along. Beautiful. And um, it really is a book to, to have for posterity. Thank you very much. Now, tell me when the exhibition is on. Now, it runs to the 28th, but where is it? Yes, it's in Central Park, which is um, 152 to 158 St George's Terrace. 
And, um, Do you want me to read this out for you? Let me read it because I've got it in front of me. Open daily from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. until Sunday, the 28th of July. That's Entry right. by gold coin donation to benefit the Leukemia Foundation. Please support them because the Leukemia Foundation gets a cut out of this and they do a great job. Now, Yana will be in attendance most days and will welcome feedback and questions from the general public. Please go to her website, which is, of course, www.janavodacell.com. Yana, sorry, you pronounced that right. It's on screen right now. And, of course, Yana's Art Gallery is available 9259 5412. Now, there is a regional WA tour which will commence mm -hmm. in Broome yes. on Saturday, the 3rd of August. It visits 10, 10 towns and exhibitions. Final showing will be in Mandra from Saturday, the 15th of March, folks, until Sunday, the 5th of April next year. And they say here, it's, ha it's very handy for those who are unable to attend the July one. So if you can't go by the end of this week, which is pretty short time, you can always go next year. We'd love to have um, you back on the show, Jean, because these are amazing. Maybe we can get Yana in here and paint but, a portrait yes. of me. Yes, yes. Well, within a 10-minute segment. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think she'd have to probably do it over the weekend or something. Thank you very much. It's going to be a great exhibition. Thank you for spending the time with us. It is the Permanent Impressions Exhibition. Please check our website for more details. It's thecouch.com.au. All the links will be there. We can never say enough in five minutes. But thank you, Jean Wybro, for coming in and supporting your sister-in-law for all those years and providing a great publicity. Thank you.